All right, so now with no further ado, let me introduce our next speaker who is uh, waiting in the bullpen there. Uh, Deacon Harold Burke Sivers, as I mentioned earlier, he is known uh, affectionately as the dynamic deacon and he speaks primarily on areas of marriage and family life, discerning the will of God, the sacraments, male spirituality like he's going to talk about today, pro-life issues, evangelization, prayer, and a whole lot of other topics as well. Uh, he holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics and Business Administration from the University of Notre Dame. And more importantly, <laughs> I didn't know Notre Dame got whoops, but uh, <laughs> somebody thought I said A&M. I think that's what happened. Uh, he also, interestingly, has a degree in Master of Theological Studies from the University of Dallas. Praise God. He is uh, the author of a best-selling book called Behold the Man, A Catholic Vision of Male Spirituality, which was published by Ignatius Press. He is married to his wife, Colleen, and they have four children, and they live in Portland, Oregon, and he also has duties at Immaculate Heart Catholic Church. I did a little research online last night, and I found one testimony, uh, which I think really kind of summarizes the impact that people have had in listening to, and I don't mean to build it up too much and put too much pressure on you, but uh, this, is, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is one of the testimonies. Somebody said, just wanted to say, I heard you preach on EWTN today, and I was yelling, amen, out loud. You're an amazing witness to God's amazing love for his people. Thank you for your yes to God. He is using you to touch millions. Thank you for not being afraid to feed his sheep. Keep going, Deacon, keep going. Uh, it's so refreshing to hear a brave speaker of the word of God and to, who serves us meat and potatoes and not just fluff. Uh, you fed me today, thank you. So that was one testimony of somebody who heard uh, Deacon Harold Burke Sivers and obviously was a little bit touched by what he had to say. So Deacon Harold Burke Sivers' uh, talk today is called Vocation and Mission in the lives of Catholic men. So please stand up once again and give a big North Texas welcome to Deacon Harold Brooks Evers. We are called to be salt of the earth and light of the world. Salt does three primary things. It seasons, it purifies, and it preserves. First of all, salt seasons. It makes things taste better. In order for us to be truly the men that God created and calls us to be, we have to season our minds and our hearts with God's word and the sacraments. As Father Longenecker talked about, we have to engage our minds. We have to open up the Bible and see ourselves and our lives and our stories in the page of the word of God. We have to be nurtured and fed by the graces from the sacraments in order truly to be seasoned by the salt of God. Salt also purifies, which means we have to, which I'm going to talk mostly about today, the sacrament of reconciliation, bringing us back when we have fallen away, when we have walked away, when we have chosen ourselves over God. God gives us the sacrament of reconciliation and the grace to draw us back to him so it purifies. And so also preserves. If we cooperate with the grace that God has given us in the sacraments of the church, we will preserve that everlasting life that God died for, for each one of us. And when we do all those three things, then we can be light. Because we cannot keep the faith to ourselves. Where we're really good at being Catholic is in here. Where we suck is out there. 